Imagine standing in the scorching desert yet holding in your hand a chunk of ice. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? But did you know, ancient people had mastered this art? Yes, you heard it right. The paradox of ice in the desert is as real as it gets. Despite the blistering heat and harsh desert conditions, our ancestors had devised ingenious methods to create and preserve ice. It's not magic, but a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. So how did ancient people make ice in the desert? The discovery of this phenomenon can be traced back to the Persians, around 400 BC. Ice in the desert? It seems like a paradox, doesn't it? And yet, our ancestors, the Persians, found a way to make it a reality. They were the first to document the ingenious methods of ice production in arid landscapes. Imagine the sweltering heat of the desert, and then picture a cool block of ice. It's a stark contrast, isn't it? The Persians, known for their innovative spirit, achieved this by digging deep pits, covering them up, and then allowing the cool desert night air to work its magic, freezing the water contained within. It was a clever exploitation of nature's own mechanisms, a testament to the resourcefulness of our ancestors. This discovery led to a deeper understanding of how our ancestors harnessed the power of nature. So, how did this work? It all comes down to some basic physics. To understand how our ancestors made ice in the desert, we need to be familiar with a concept called radiation cooling. This occurs when a body loses heat by thermal radiation, a process that's especially effective under a clear night sky. The Earth absorbs sunlight throughout the day, and when the sun sets, this heat is released back into the atmosphere. However, on a clear night, much of this heat escapes into space, cooling the surface. Now imagine a shallow pool of water under that same night sky. With the heat escaping, the temperature of the water drops, and if it's cold enough, it freezes into ice. But, how did they keep the ice from melting under the scorching desert sun? Well, the answer lies in the architectural marvels known as yakchals. These dome-shaped structures, built from mud brick, were designed to store the ice. Their unique design, with a subterranean storage space and a wall facing away from the sun, kept the interior cool and insulated from the outside heat. The ice was then chipped off in chunks during the cooler months and stored inside the yakchals. The thick walls and the design of the structure ensured that the ice lasted even into the summer months. Thus, by understanding their environment and using it to their advantage, our ancestors could enjoy a cool relief in the blistering heat. So, let's summarize the key points about how ancient people made ice in the desert. In our journey through the sands of time, we've discovered how our ingenious ancestors defied the odds of their arid environments. They were able to harvest ice, a luxury we take for granted in our modern world. This wasn't just a whimsical pursuit but a necessity for survival, underpinning the resilience and ingenuity of ancient civilizations. The historical discovery of this phenomenon is nothing short of a marvel. Ancient texts and archaeological findings have given us tantalizing clues about these ice pits, known as yakchals, in desert regions like Iran. These structures, often dome-shaped and built underground, were designed to store ice and food, maintaining a cool temperature even in the scorching heat. In the dead of winter, when temperatures dropped below freezing at night, these ancient peoples would pour shallow pools of water. The ambient cold and the clear desert sky would cause the water to freeze. Come dawn, they would gather this precious ice and store it in the yakchals. The science behind this is fascinating. The principle at play here is radiative cooling. At night, the Earth's surface loses heat to the atmosphere faster than it receives it. This, combined with the dry, clear desert skies, allowed for the water to freeze. The Yakchals were a testament to ancient architectural prowess. With thick walls made of a special mortar resistant to heat transfer, these structures kept the inside cool. The subterranean design further helped in maintaining a low temperature by taking advantage of the Earth's natural insulation. Moreover, the clever use of wind catchers, a type of architectural element that directs the flow of wind, helped in further cooling the interior of the Yakchals. Wind catchers are still used in many desert regions today, a nod to the enduring wisdom of our forebears. So, next time you enjoy a refreshing iced drink, remember the ingenious methods of our ancestors who made ice in the desert.